make a good packet of crisps, you, you know, the key thing in a good packet of crisps are these, you know, potatoes. You know, without these, you won't have a good packet of crisps. Um, and we've been growing these for about 30 years as a family for Walker's crisps. And um, so I think we know one or two things about growing potatoes. The environment is key to us because, you know, where we're so dependent on the weather and, and the soil and everything like that, you know, we're so reliant on the climate we've got here. And um, so we've got to make sure that we, we look after the environment. We don't want the climate suddenly going very warm and our potatoes not being able to grow in, in it or being too dry for the potatoes. And of course, we don't get it too cold because they don't like it too cold. So, you know, we, we, between ourselves and, and with walkers, we really are progressing on, on hopefully doing safer and better farming, which is better for, for the long term, you know, not just for me, but just for future families, really. The walkers have put a lot of uh, research behind, you know, what varieties should go where and, and helping us to, you know, the right nutrition and the right amount of water to put on and, and what soil type goes to what one. So they do an awful lot of work in the actual growing practice, but also, you know, they're now key players, you know, I don't know many or any other companies that have put so much effort into sustainability, you know, recently, you know, from looking at the water usage we have, energy that we put into our storage, energy we're using in our tractors, everything, you know, they are really focusing on, you know, on the carbon footprint really and, and reducing that. And I think they're almost, I would say they must be one of the leaders in doing that, to be honest. We've invested heavily into storage. We put up a year ago another new store, which has got far thicker insulation than previous stores. We've got more energy efficient fans in them. We're trying to run with the most fuel efficient tractors. Um, so we're trying to use less fuel. Um, so we have weather stations in our fields now, which can uh, predict weather and also predict blight which is a very key issue with potatoes so if blight conditions aren't there which is a certain humidity certain um, temperatures for a certain time if those conditions aren't there then we don't need to go and spray on the variety side we use quite a lot of variety called Hermes which generally is quite drought tolerant so by using that and putting it in fields that have a good strong soil which can cope in more drier conditions we can use less water um, which is obviously good as well. So we are forever looking at ways, one of helping the environment and hopefully helping you know, improve profitability really.